boys and girls, we are going to end our week learning about one last community helper. And this community helper is someone you may not think about too often. I want you to look at your feet. What do you wear on your feet to protect them? Shoes, very good. Look at Miss Wolaszczyk's shoe. She's wearing flats today. You might not be wearing shoes because you're at home, but just think of your favorite pair of shoes. Did you know there's a community helper that makes your shoes? Yes, they are a community helper. I want you to say shoemaker. See, easy enough. A shoemaker is a community helper that works that makes shoes for us so that we have something to wear on our feet so that we don't step on anything that hurts us and keeps our feet nice and safe. So I have a story today and it's about a father or a dad who is a shoemaker. Remember, a shoemaker is someone who makes shoes for us, okay? So I want you to just listen to my story and then we'll talk about it, okay? Miss Wolaszczyk is going to sit a little bit close so you can see all of the pictures. Ready? This poem is called My Father is a Shoemaker by Marlene Williams. Here we go. My father is a shoemaker who'll fix your worn out shoe. He replaces soles and heels using tacks and special glue. My mother is a hairstylist. She combs and trims your hair. Her clients make appointments to sit in her special chair. My grandma works at a grocery store where people buy their bread. She helps them make a purchase so their family will be fed. My grandfather is a sales clerk in a busy hardware store. He helps his customers find parts and tools for household chores. Each person earns a paycheck, which is money. For the, fam for the work that they perform, our family spends the money to keep us safe and warm. The end. Let's go back to that. Let's look at this picture right here. Listen again. Each person earns a paycheck for the work that they perform. Our family spends the money to keep us safe and warm. Hmm. Let's talk about that for a second. Think of your home, whatever your home is, an apartment, a house, whatever it is. Think of your home. You have a roof over your head and a bed to sleep in, blankets and clothes. This is all thanks to your family. So I want you to, first off, what does your mom or dad do? Tell me what their job is. Good job, very nice, that's awesome. Yeah, so they work a job to make money so that you can have a home to sleep in. So they are very important for our community and also for you to have a safe and warm home to live in. Now, let's see, let's go back here. What did my friend's mother do? What did she do? Look right here. Is that what you thought? Yes, what does she do? Very good, she's a hairstylist. What does a hairstylist do? Yep, she cuts hair. Look, she has to use special scissors. Oops, special scissors to cut hair. She brushes out your hair and to make sure that your hair is nice, it's clean, it's cut very beautifully, and so that your hair looks good, which will make you feel good. So that's a community helper. What is she? A hairstylist. Very good. Let's talk about the grandfather. Do you remember where he worked? Let's listen. My grandfather is a sales clerk in a busy hardware store. He helps his customer find parts and tools for household chores. So he's a sales clerk where? At a hardware store. That means he works at like a Sears or a Lowe's or a Home Depot. And he helps people find things they need to help fix up and clean their home. Let's look here. What are some things you might find at a hardware store? Look here. Right. Very good. Yes. Look, you might find a broom. What do you need a broom for? To sweep. And look, what's that? A paintbrush. That's something you could find at a hardware store to paint your home. Very good. Now, 
I want you to think about your parents, John. You can think of your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, whoever. I want you to think about what they do, okay? And that's what you're gonna tell Ms. Walashik below. What is the job of someone in your family and how are they important to the community?